Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Flutter Explained. Today we want to talk about Melos, a package management system that allows you to create mono repositories in Flutter for Flutter very easily. Up here you find also the link to the last episode where we talked about mono and poly repositories. Great, and now that you are ready for the start, let's dive directly into it. Okay, Melos is a tool that is currently developed and maintained by Invertase, and it allows us to create this mono repository as I told. This gives us a little bit of benefits that you can see here on the website even a little bit better. Like for example, automatic versioning, automated publishing, but what I find most interesting is the linking of different packages and the execution of simultaneously commands. That means if you want to run Dart analyzes for all your packages with all your apps, you can do that with one line of code without writing anything else because you have already prepared it in Melos. We will have a look into that now. One additional thing that I need to mention is we will use in this video Melos version 7, which can already work with Flutter workspaces. If you don't want to upgrade right now, you can also use Melos, which is even a little bit better because the documentation and everything is more surrounded around the uh, non-workspaces way. Great, there is only one thing to do before we jump right into the tutorial. Down you find a like button and it is one second for you but it helps me a lot so I would be thankful if you would hit the button. Great, now we are here in the workspace and inside of the workspace if you check it's just an empty folder, there is nothing inside and we want to set up a basic structure that we can use in our Melos project. It can look also a little bit different but this is just how I would prefer to do it at the moment and how Melos recommends it. So how it is, is usually we have one folder called packages and we have one folder for our apps. This is quite easy. Then we would have a pubspec.yaml inside, which contains now our Melos dependencies and will contain all the Melos commands that we want to execute across all packages. Now, what's also necessary is the analytics options, right? Analytics. So that we can reference that from everywhere in our project that all the packages are using the same analysis options and we just override it. We did that the last time already. Good, now that we have that, what is missing? I think a readme file, right? But you already have that, of course. Now we have already our basic folder structure, but we have nothing that we can link up to. So to change that, we go into the uh, apps folder. And what I will do is just create a basic app fo uh, for us, which is Flutter create, let's call it demo app. So, and as you can see here, we create our folder, the demo app is inside of here, and we can use it. And the next thing that I want to do inside of our packages is I would like to create our first Flutter package. So Flutter create um, hyphen H. Uh, I think there is a template for it. So let's have a look. Yep, template package. So Flutter create T, T uh, package. And now we give it the package a name. So let's call it demo package. And with one package, it would be too less. So we make also a different package that we call demo package one. That means we would like that this app contains these both packages. And as you can see, it's only just a Flutter package. It has its dependencies, which could then be different from each other. We have the analysis options and so on and so forth. And now we want to set up the mono repository for that. So in our pubspec.yaml, we have to define some things. For example, that it is a workspace. So in our pubspec.yaml, we write some basic stuff. So for example, how our workspace is named. So this can be anything. For me, this would be probably Melos tutorial at the moment. It can be the same name as the package itself, right? So as you see, we have some AI support here, but I don't necessarily don't want that right now. We want to have the publishment. We want to have the environment, which gives the SDK. Here it is important because we want to use the newest version of Melos. We want to have at least 3.6.0 for the Dart SDK. It's just important to know. And let's do that, that we use all the others. Good, now we want to say that this is a workspace. Uh, we did that the last time already, you know, Flutter workspace. This is exactly where we link up everything. I just leave that empty for now, but we will do that later. And then we need a dev dependency in this part which is nothing of this, just the first one, maybe Melos, and we need the version seven minimum. So, and with that, we are nearly ready. There is only the YAML part for Melos itself. And as you see already, the nice little AI gives me some stuff for the scripts. 
And this stuff is all completely wrong. So we do that later. But what happens here is actually we can set up scripts that runs then across all the packages that we have. The next step would be to clean up our project a little bit. For example, I told you the last time already, we removed the, analy uh, the analy analytics options and put that in the main file. And what we would do is here inside, we would just reference it. So to make it clean, we say like this, and with that, we know that it is here. The second part is we need to define that all these packages and apps are in a workspace. So let's do that now. It's resolution workspace. And we can copy that because we need that also for the demo package one and for the app, of course. Good. Now in the app, this is all a, a workspace. But as you know, if I would like to try now and go inside of our main folder and say flutter pub get, I would try to get that and you can see that it depends here and there's no merchant witch. So as always, I got a little bit confused because at the moment Melo 7 is not published. So it's not completely released. So what it is, is currently a dev branch with the inversion number eight. So if you now say Melo's bootstrap or dart uh, pub get, you can see it tries to get all the files and it says success, but it says also that zero packages are bootstrapped. So if I make that with dart pub get, then we see not much because this dependency is already here. Okay, but in our workspace, we now have to define our different packages. And for that, we just say um, hyphen, and then we give the name of the package, like, like so, and like so, perfect. So thanks to the AI, this is already done. But probably if we don't have set that everywhere, we should get an error now, or we get everything else and it works. So deleting old packages, that's fine. So with that, we have the Dart demo and it's also part of the workspace. Fantastic. So now with that, we have our Melos configured and ready to work actually. Most of the stuff is already done. We can use the different dependencies here and that should already work. Fantastic. All right, so what does this Melos bootstrap actually do? The first thing that it does makes Flutter pub get to get all the packages that are required. Better Dart pub get actually. And then all the packages are getting linked. That means, as you see, if I jump into one of the packages, there is this IML file created since new parts of Melos. This usually doesn't have to be checked in, I guess. But what it does is that make sure that all the packages are one. And as you can see in the uh, package itself, we don't have a pubspec.lock file. That only creates in the main one. That means all the dependencies getting tree shaked to the bottom. That means you only install one version for the whole tree, which is pretty neat in my opinion and works quite well. Okay, but now I want to show you one of the benefits of Melos, right? So we go to the demo package one in our case and we just give him a dev dependency. And we say that it is dependent on the build runner. Right, so the version doesn't matter right now. We can also just use any, but I want to say that only the package one is dependent on it. And I want to make sure that the uh, app one is also dependent on it, just to make uh, show you what the difference is and why it works so well. Now inside of the pubspec YAML of the main file, like uh, that defines our working rep repository, we have this Melos part here, right? And the idea is now that we can write here scripts that we can, for example, use in our CI CD. Now let's say you want to run the build runner for demo package one and for the demo app, but you, or just for one of the two. Well, then you have to navigate into the package, right? Go into the apps folder, go to the demo app, then run dart, run build runner, build, right? Now you have to remember all that steps, jumping into the packages and so on. That is a lot of work. And you know what I am? I am lazy. So what I would like to do is I would like to have a script that I can just execute in the main file and it will run directly the build runner at the right position. That means for demo package one, I can just select it. And for demo package two, I can select it also. So let's do that. So let's um, create one of the scripts. I have a dart run build runner build. And we can say we delete the conflicted outputs. That means it automatically selects delete if we execute this command, which is fine, I guess. Then we can specify how many 
concurrencies are running. That means if you have a multi-threaded processor, which you probably have, then it will automatically split up the processes and run them side by side. Have a bit be, uh, be a bit aware that this could also lead to problems, especially with tests and uh, very good ventures CLI. We found uh, I found out that there could be some problems if you have multiple concurrencies. But in general, concurrencies are not a bad thing. So I will just give it four. I think that's fine. And what I also want is a package filter. Sorry, package filter. And I want to say in this package filter that it depends on the build runner. So, and what does that do? It searches in our different packages for the pubspec YAMLs and checks if there is a dependency to the build runner. If this is the case, then it will show up in my list right now. So I clear my console and say melos build. Uh, did I? Oh, I forgot to give it a name actually. So let's call it build and then put these all below and this one can go up much better. So we call it melos build. <clears throat> it does its bootstrap thing and it did not work as I expected. Of course not. I wrote it already up here. We have to make it also a scripts part. So build is just a name and scripts needs to be above. So the hierarchy that we need is melos, scripts, build, and then the command that we would like to have. So let's try it again. Perfect. It does some things. And right now it just selects all of them and runs them through for package one and demo package. So that means without that I had to select anything, it knew that it should not run. Oh no, it runs all. Now I did probably a mistake because as you can see, it run through all the packages like demo app, demo package, demo package one. But what you can see here very nicely is the concurrencies. So what did I do wrong? Package filters, I guess. So let's try that once more. Yes, and as you can see here now, it only shows me the two parts, like demo app and the demo package one, and I can select it now. I can say, for example, I want to build only the package one because I don't want to run all of them. And now it's only for this one. This makes it way easier, especially if you have a lot of packages to run the right one. You don't have to go into the packages itself and it makes it just neat to work with. Nice. Now that we have all that set up, the benefit, for example, that I really like is that you only have to set up the GitHub actions if you want to have one only once because you can do it here in the repository, you push it up and then you can use Melos to execute all your scripts that you like. For example, if you, we have now the build method here, but we could have, for example, the formatting, flutter testing across all package, maybe flutter testing only against certain packages. For example, if you have only flutter packages, you can run their flutter test where you reduce a little bit the workload or you can have widget tests only. All that kinds of things are possible thanks to this Melos part, which is, in my opinion, pretty cool. And in the documentation, I will link it down in the video description, you also find more commands that you can execute. Like, for example, Melos analyze, bootstrap, clean, format. Clean is important sometimes to remove all the workspaces. Format, dark format, you know, uh, publishing and so on and so forth. Good. If you have any further questions to the whole topic, you know where you find me, down in the video comments. Hit the like button to subscribe if you can. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your week. We see us next week. Bye.